Sophie is, among other things, a fabulist. She has got an imagination that is as big as the Empire State Building, and, <laughs> and she is always dreaming up some new scenario which doesn't quite explain itself, so you have to come to it and bring some of yourself to it. All of us have fantasies. She's got more than most of us, but she's got a way to express them, which we don't all have. And I've learned about a, a different way of looking at the same things. I think Sophie is really a, a, quite original. And they're just good to see. I mean, she, I, I love the way this looks in this particular gallery. The size, the simple black frames with these high white walls. I, it's, I find it a very prepossessing show. But these pictures are well worth seeing any number of times. That's, that's the mark of a really fine picture. Well, and as Corinne says, there's a lot of narrative in these pictures, but it isn't narrative such as narrative in Marguerite Dirat. It's an open-ended narrative. We all know that any picture you ever look at is not finished until you look at it. There is an interchange between the photographer and the onlooker. And the onlooker, in every case, will see something different from whoever's standing next to him. Sometimes the color is thought to be different. And so the narratives here, they are mysteries in many cases. What's going on? But even if they seem to tell you what is going on, you may find something else in it. I think that happens very frequently in photographs, but I think Sophie asked for it. I think they, these are very participatory photographs. They are all metaphors, but for what? is your decision.